Hey, this is Brian here coming at you again with another project. Today we are going to de-rust a piece of cast iron cookware by using electrolysis. I got tired of trying to fight it with uh, rust, rust remover chemicals and wire brushes. So I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But please check out the other videos on my channel that cover things such as uh, firearms and my experience as a law enforcement officer of almost 18 years and a firearms instructor. I've also got some videos on how to convert your lawn mowers to run on propane with a little kit that I put together and also how to make an electric start for your lawn mower. And I've also got some uh, cooking tips on there for some uh, healthy cooking because I'm a bit of a health nut. But what we did today is in this tank is a 35 pound cast iron hibachi grill made by Lodge Cast Iron. It's covered in rust. Again, I just got tired of fighting with it. So what we did is we made an electrolysis tank. Let me show you what it's made of. First of all, these rods here, these electrodes, are regular metal uh, pieces of rebar. With those, you need to connect, whether you use two, three, four of these, and they, need, they need to be connected all in series together with a piece of copper wire. Copper wire. And do not allow that copper wire to go down in the water there. In the middle there, we have regular steel baling wire. Do not use anything galvanized. It needs to be completely stripped solid steel uh, or metal. That is wrapped around the cast iron. And as an insulator, I have this piece of wood right here. We have to keep these, this negative and positive electrodes apart from each other. To that water, which there's 15 gallons in there, we added Super washing soda, this is Arm & Hammer. This is not baking soda. Baking soda is sodium, um, sodium uh, bicarbonate. This is sodium carbonate. Slightly different. I'm not going to eat this stuff. But what this does, this allows the water to act as a better conductor. And what we're doing to remove this rust is we are negatively charging the cast iron and positively charging these electrodes. And how we do that is we use a regular battery charger. This is a 10 amp battery charger. We're going to hook up the negative to the item we want to de-rust, the positive to our electrodes. And when we electrify this water, as you can see there, there's a lot of bubbles. Those bubbles are hydrogen and oxygen gas. This can be flammable, so do not do this indoors. As you see there, I got a fan that's blowing these fumes outside. But that is where the molecules of water are being broken apart, releasing their oxygen and hydrogen. But in the process of doing that, the rust is being scaled off, leached off, and being attracted to these metal electrodes here. Now you want to hook these up first, okay? This is where I have the, the positive hooked up to the... Like, hook these up first, and then plug into the wall. Do not do the reverse. If you plug into the wall first, and then decide to hook these up and if there's some spark you're going to ignite your gas and that would be a bad thing so let, let hook up the terminals first then plug it in when it's done you're going to do the reverse you're going to unplug here then take your electrodes off so this is going to go for about three or four hours again as you can see that is really really going Maybe you can see the bubbles coming off the electrode there. And obviously you want to use a, a plastic tank. You don't want to use a metal tank. We're going to let that go for a while, and um, it's going to be de-rusted. Plenty of other videos online. Mine's just explaining it a little bit more, perhaps. And um, So anyway, uh, I may come back again to another shot, but if not, check out my channel. Check out my videos. Please like. Please share, and if you have any positive feedback or some ideas, please let me know. See you later. Um, this hasn't been running for 24 hours. This has only been running for maybe a total of four to five hours. You can see that the electrodes are still doing their job. Still a lot of bubbling in there. Now, if I were to pull those electrodes out, you'd see that they were covered in rust below the water line. But it's still working. You can see rust on the surface. But it seems to be doing a pretty good job. Okay, what I'm doing now is I have, I have emptied 
all the old water. This is new water, but the reason it looks so brown is because after the electrolysis process, you need to scrub, scrub the cast iron, scrub the steel, and that's only to get the um, the rust residue off. The rust won't completely come off. What it do, what it has done is it has unadhered to the cast iron, but um, not necessarily completely pulled off and gone to the positive electrode. So all you have to do is use a little bit of steel wool, a plastic brush to get off all that rust flake, and it'll be a raw cast iron or raw steel after that. Okay? That's why it looks so dirty there.